Hi everyone, Mickey Verley here. I wanted to do a quick video about this iPad eye strain issue that I was having. This is my iPad that I'm going to be trading in. I've already erased it. Uh, this was the 12.9, uh, I'm not even sure of the generation. It's the latest one as of, you know, 2022, end of 2022 is when I bought it, when the new one came out, I think. And right from the get-go, having horrible eye strain, even after when I'm not using it, it was just burnt, you know, my eyes. I did everything that I knew how to do, which I'm going to show you some things in here, settings that you can do. And I have blue screen stuff on my glasses with blue screen. I bought a $75 screen cover thing that was supposed to reduce the eye strain. And no matter what I did, if I spent any amount of time on it, it was, you know, just frying my eyes out so bad. Well, I found out that the reason, one of the big reasons is these new iPads have what they call mini um, LED lights. Um, and LED lights, I already know, mess with me so bad. So if you're wondering and you have the same thing, one of the ways I know it messes with me, if, you, if at night if I get um, car headlights that are coming at me with LED lights, it like really blinds me, you know. So I already knew that those LED lights were not cool with my eyes. The minute I would finally, I was digging and digging and digging and finally found that, that that's what it is. Now, on the latest ones on the 11 inch, they don't have the mini LED lights. They have OLED, which, you know, technically, I guess, is still some kind of a o, you know, LED, but it is supposed to be much less strain on the eyes, okay? So I, I'm going to trade this in. I got, I found one. I found one because uh, uh, there's not that many left at this point in time in, in the spring of, or summer of 2024, I should say. Um, so I did find one. I got it here. I've cleared this one out, and I'm going to go ahead and trade it in. I mean, it's smaller, but I mean, you can, the main thing that I use this for is drawing in Procreate, right? So I can zoom it up really big if I have to get in a tight space. It's going to take some getting used to, but um, I've used it for a couple days, and the eye strain is significantly less. I'm going to go ahead and get the screen thing, too, for it. But it, it's still causing some, uh, you know, some issues with my eyes a little bit. But I mean, I was working on it for quite a few hours for two or three days in a row. But I mean, that's what I do. I'm an artist. I want to be able to use the tablet. You know, that's the whole point of having it, right? Here's the other thing. I guess prior to all this OLED and LED, there was the old ones were LCD. And according to people that I've been reading on the message boards, that that's much better. But you know, you really can't find those. You can maybe find a used one, but you know, who knows what you're going to get. But I mean, Apple, why are you doing this with this LED thing? And apparently, um, like I was saying how the headlights uh, bother me, you know, the L LCD and what, or LED, I should say. And what I found out is there's something called PWM, which is pulse width modulation sensitive, which is the flickering. So I don't know if that's the same thing that I have or if that's a completely different thing. But I want to say, if you have either one of those things, you know, you could have some issues. So here's what I've done. Here's what you can do, and I did it all on this one, too. Uh, but here's some things that you can do. Okay, so we're in the settings. I've covered up my name and stuff. Under general, you can go down and do display and brightness. And night shift, like I have it on night shift all the time. I have it set for 7 a.m. to 6.56 a.m. So, you know, for four minutes it goes back to regular and then, it, and you can override that too, but I just keep putting it on night shift helps. And then you, the brightness, you know, you can turn the brightness up or down, etc. There's one more thing that I just found out about, and how you get to that is you go in here and under displays and brightness, you can go to accessibility, and then um, there is another display and text size, it's up here, display and text size. And then all the way in the bottom, there's this reduce white point. And apparently that really helps. Now that's, it's like, it puts it way down. I mean, you can go, you can bring it up a little bit in there, there and then you can go back and play around. Now, I've just discovered this reduce white point, so I'm going to also do that. Then I might go back to display and brightness and, and kick it up a little bit there, you know, so you can at least see what's going on on the screen. So I'm going to give that a try too, but I know, I mean, it's a, it's a thing and, and it's not being discussed. You know, it's like, well, what's, why is this thing frying out my eyes? I mean, and even, the, I mean, after, I can't even look at another screen. If I looked at my old regular computer screen, you know, and I do graphic design for decades, so I'm used to sitting in front of a computer screen for many, many hours, and yeah, I would get eye strain, but not like this. And then when I go to look at a regular computer screen after staring at this one, 
I couldn't even, it was just like all white and blurry. I mean, it was seriously messing with my eyes really, really bad. So Apple needs to get a handle on this or maybe offer uh, a LCD version on the bigger ones or I don't know what they're going to do going forward. I mean, if they think this is the best new thing with the L L L LED, mini LED, then, you know, I think they're sadly mistaken because a lot of people, like it took me over a year of using it and I'm just like, why is this thing frying out my eyes? Why is this thing frying out my eyes? You know, I did the brightness and the night shift. I just found out about the white point, so I'm going to give that a whirl too. But I'm, they, they need to have some options because pro, the really main reason I have an iPad is for Procreate and it's an awesome, beautiful tool. And I love, and I took a year to learn Procreate. Now I'm, I'm really adept at Procreate, but I can't use the iPad because it's frying out my eyes so bad. So if you've been experiencing eye strain, uh, it could be a lo any of these things. Now, apparently OLED, which is this one, is supposed to be better but i'm going to go ahead and do these other precautions and i am going to get the the screen protect thing too but i mean it's a shame that you have to go through all this stuff just to use the device i mean apple needs to maybe have some options for other people that are sensitive to this um and maybe some people are to some extent and don't even realize that i mean even my readers you know I, I, my readers i've gone up like a one and a half I used to do like a one, I have regular just prescription glasses too, but I just get those readers a lot of the time and I, you can order them on Amazon and they do have the blue screen uh, protect, these kind right here, right? So this is 2.5, yeah, I was at like one or 1 1.25 and now I'm at 2.5 and they're even a little bit, I need a little bit uh, stronger. So it's not only, it's just, it's making my eyes stressed out and watery and are painful but I'm it's making so I have to get stronger glasses I mean that, and that's not worth it I mean what's next am I gonna go blind to use my dang iPad I mean come on so I, I'm, I'm exaggerating joking it's not funny but I mean they got to do something about this but if until they do those are some things you can do what I showed you over here but also this one here the smaller one the latest smaller one as of July of 2024 does have OLED I mean, I, it, I'm, I'm not a, you know, into the technology that deep that I even know what that means. I just read that it, it's less strain than the LED. But I mean, it still has the word LED in it. I mean, so it, it's still a little bit, on, in my mind, it's a little bit, uh, I don't know. But anyway, so I'm sure there's many people out there. I couldn't find a video on it. I saw a couple of random videos. I did a lot of digging. And of course, good old Reddit. I found a couple of Reddit threads where people were talking about it and explaining it. And everybody said, you know, you got to get this one. Um, it, because this one is just going to, you know, tear your eyes up. So hopefully, I mean, this one was really cool, and I really, I'm, I'm kind of sad that I'm taking it back. I'm going kind of sad that I, it's like when I get rid of a car or something, I kind of get sad. <laughs> I get attached to it. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so if you've been going through some issues, this might be the thing. And, you know, going through and doing these couple of things with the night shift and then the brightness, and then the other one was the, um, that last thing which was um, on the other page, you have to rewind the video, I've already forgotten where it was at by now but because we've been talking, but you know, I'm going to give this all a try on here and I'm going to get the blue screen, you know, or whatever it is, um, this, this, the, the screen thing for his, this cover, screen cover was $75 just for that, I mean, come on, that's a lot of money to put out and still having it burn my eyes and I shouldn't have to get it at all, I mean, really. But it is what it is, and you know, if you're like me, and there's certain things like Procreate, you can't use Procreate on it. You have to have an Apple device, you know. So that's the main reason that I got the iPad and was using it. You know, I actually on, on graphics, I switched to PC a long time ago. As soon as Adobe was available on PC, I switched over. I had a I had a G3 tower back in the day. I had a, a, another one, an iMac or something. But then I had my G3 tower. And then as soon as Adobe was available on uh, PC, I switched over to PC right away because it's just easier and overall better. I know people will lose their head over that, because but I think Apple is kind of more of a status thing than actual uh, functionality thing. <laughs> that's, that's just my findings or my preference. Don't freak out in the comments. This is more about the eye strain issue, which I'm, I'm sure many of you have gone through as well, because I have too. And... Um, Hopefully this is going to help. I mean, I really like I really like my the eye pencil, and I really like using Procreate, and I've been using it for like a year, and I you know I really love using it. But um, and it's you know it's not free, but you have to pay for it one time. It's not a fifty dollar a month uh, subscription like Photoshop is anymore. So um, 
for drawing and stuff, you know, it's just, there's it, nothing better as far as I can tell. So I really want to stay with it and keep using it, but my, I gotta have my eyes. I mean, I can't, I was to the point where I couldn't even read any of my eye strain, which even when I wasn't using the iPad, like I was trying to read labels and, you know, going shopping and reading an expiration date, and I couldn't even see it and it was like all, you know, white out, kind of everything was white glary. It's like, no, 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 we can't have this. So, if you're one of the people out there, I'm sure there's many people out there, there's just no information. It was, I had to do a lot of digging to really find it. So I'm going to give it a go. I went to the 11 inch. Uh, I'm going to do these things, you know, with the, all the display stuff. I'm going to get the thing. And I mean, I, actually I did use it without using the, adjusting the white point. That was the second thing. I just found out about the white point today as I was brushing up on my facts before I did the video. I wanted to make sure I had all the OLED and all that stuff, you know correct um, and I, they came across that white spot uh, or white tone or whatever and I've already forgotten white's display or whatever it is <laughs> um, so I just found out about that but I, I have used it for a couple of days um, I have a little eye strain but not as much as this but also it's only been a couple days I don't know after a couple of days of using this one if my eye strain was all that bad I was using it every day every day every day when I was working on this project for like six months and it was just like it was frying my eyes so freaking bad so hopefully I've helped you out. Let me know in the comments if you've experienced a similar thing or if you have any information to add to the discussion here. I mean, have you found an alternative? Um, can you get the LCDs anymore? Does Apple have any plans to bring back the LCDs? You know, I wish they would, you know. But anyways, I hope I helped you out if you've been wondering what the heck's going on, if this thing's been, you know, frying your eyes out as well. And especially if, I mean, there's PWM, like, I don't, I don't know if that's what I have, Pulse with modulation sensitivity but like I said I definitely when I in the car and those LC, L, LCD yeah LCD uh, or LED headlights hit me this is before the iPad every time it's like god I'm, I'm blinded by it I can't see so it might just be something with me and LCD I keep saying LCD but it's LED yeah so it might be something with me and just LED but I think a lot of people have that I've even seen memes like that like your LED headlights are blinding me or so I can't remember so it's 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 more common than you might think um, and that's another thing that they need to do away with those uh, LED uh, headlights because it does blind totally blind me when I get hit and when those come at me I can't it's just all white out I can't see anything and it hurts all right I'm rambling a little bit, but I want to make sure I got covered all the bases. I hope I helped you out. Again, talk more in the comments. If you guys have more information, don't. I don't want to get into any big fights about PC versus Apple. That's not what this video is about. This is about eye strain with the with the iPads, and you know LCD, LED, OLED, all those kinds of things, and as it relates to the Mac, or if there's any other tablets or or any other things that you know. Procreate. I, I believe Procreate's just for Mac for as of right now, but maybe some comparable graphic software that anybody's come across that, you know, if this thing doesn't, if this thing fries out my eyes, then I'm, I'm done. I'm out. You know, I'm sorry, Apple. I'm out for sure, you know, so, because my eyesight's more important than any, any, any of this stuff, all right? All right, so that's the video. Thanks for tuning in. Let me know what you think in the comments. Okay, bye.